consider that would have to be inspired for the people of the home. <laughs> Ashton Atkins and Christopher Pitek looked at 20 homes in 12 hours. That's how hot the market in Northeast Ohio is right now. The typical U.S. buyer looks at only 10 over 10 weeks. So for first-time home buyers, one of the most important steps in finding your home sweet home is hiring a realtor you connect with, as well as one who performs, which is what Ashton and Christopher did. He's very, very big on social media, and so that's what speaks to our generation. So we're thinking, hey, this kid's younger, he knows what he's doing, we're always seeing homes are closing with him. We just knew, like, as soon as we called him. Once you hire one, your next step in finding your home sweet home is getting pre-approved for a loan, and your realtor can help you find the right lender. It's really important to be ready to rock and make an offer when you find the perfect home, because you really can't delay these days, or it might get bought by someone else. Real estate is a family affair for Annalie Rinskoff, whose mom is a top REMAX agent in Northern Ohio. She says to help find your home sweet home, you want a realtor who wants to do more than just sell you a house. Sometimes buyers can, their heart can be pitter-pattering about a house, but is it a good, smart, equitable decision? So I try to be their watchdog and their mama bear and really protect them. And if I see something that doesn't look quite right, I definitely try to play devil's advocate. And she says the clients who are successful in finding the right home come armed with information. So we wanted four bedrooms, we wanted a two-car garage, we wanted a backyard that was fenced in for the dog. Sometimes I'll meet with buyers and they tell me in the beginning that they don't want this, they do want this, they don't want this, and then Sometimes in the end, they end up with a house that they love that wasn't exactly what they were thinking from the beginning. But be open. Bottom line, realtors and buyers agree. Wait until you find the one. You'll walk in the house and you'll feel the zing. And you'll say, this is it. This is my house. house is a very, very, very fine house. One of the last ones I saw, and then we, I mean, as soon as we walked in, we fell in love with this. Well, if you do get into a bidding war, realtors say personal touches can make the difference. Ashton and Christopher wrote a letter to the sellers about why the home was so important to them. And even though they weren't the highest bidders, they got the house. Now, next in our series, getting a loan and the many options that are available. And if you're a buyer who wants to be part of our story, you can find me at dserino at wkyc.com.